My word! It's hot here now. Yep. It is now 41 degrees. We're going to drive around a little bit and then we'll see you later at the Gorge Cottage. Yep. So we're here at Rania Kom at the Gorge Cottage. Okay. Our little drive around in the park, waiting for later, didn't really help that much. No. Because the sun is still high and it's like still 40 degrees, yet it's 20 past five already. Ooh, it's a blessing to be out of the sun. Right. Wow. Welcome, welcome to the Gorge Cottage. This is nice. Wow. Well, this is probably about, what, 34 inside here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. There's no air conditioning here, but that's okay. That's it's okay. okay. The sun will go down. The sun, and yes. Cooler. You can open up all these curtains and you're going to have this uninterrupted view right around of the gorge. There's your bry. Wow. Shoo. And here is the Orange River. I think tonight's going to be very nice. Yes. And I saw it says mm -hmm. for emergency use only. There oh, yes. is a porta potty in a box. <laughs> Notice how I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know. Well, you walk, the first thing you walk in the door, you know, I would have never have seen that. See, this ever. is for urinal use and emergency use only. And there's it's a, a little potty. porta potty. That's cute. That's clever. That's very yeah. clever, yes. Because that's nice, because if you all of a sudden in the night got to, you know, you're not going to make it. Yes. Because <laughs> it's know, a way out here. It's quite a way to, to get lose. to the bathroom. Yes. yes. So that's quite a nice idea. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, there's a cooling system. It says, oh. please open two windows opposite each other in the room. This will provide the necessary draft that is needed for the cooling system to be effective. We trust the cooling system will enhance your stay. Oh, what a relief. The sun has finally set. And now it's livable outside. So Suzanne has made us a nice fire and positioned our chairs so that we can sit and overlook the Orange River. <sighs> now that's the life. Good morning all. What a night. Very hot. Oh, my soul, it was boiling. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm cooked. I'm well done. Very well done. Yes, it's about around about half past six in the morning. The sun is just about to come up. Okay, so the kettle is going on the little gas stove here. And we're just waiting it for we're just waiting for it to whistle. Let's see, how is it doing? It has now dropped it down to 29 degrees, but that's with it being on full blast. But you know, it doesn't really work very well, hey? It just no. sounds like you're sleeping outside of pick and pay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't tell you about the bats, the bats. Now, people, 
the bats, yes. The bats last night were hectic and they kept coming closer and then they came right up close around this little chalet. Yeah, we had the doors open, the mesh just, you know, covering the hole. And the bats, they would fly up against it and then they crawl, you know, and they hook their little, I don't know, those little hooky things on their wings and then they crawl up the up the mesh and then there was one that two actually i think that came to the um, sliding door on the other side and they, they like try to it looks like they're trying to claw their way in because they claw at the at the glass and then they make such a squeaking noise and mm. it's like a horror movie it was like <laughs> freaky you're like you're sleeping in a stephen king novel <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's quite freaky anyway well, we survived the night, so... Oh, gracious, oh. barely. But anyway, so... Now, when's that little kettle going to whistle? I want my coffee. Well, that's it. There we go. Last sight of the gorge cottage. Onwards we go. And so further down the road, much further down the road than Ochrabis, we are now at the Malopo Lodge, about 60 kilometers or so outside of the Khalakhari in the Kalahari. And we were supposed to be camping, but when we arrived, the lady at reception was so super nice and kind that she gave us a little rondavel for no extra charge and she says it's because it's way too hot to camp which is true it is tremendously hot it is 41 here now registering on the vehicle and on the way here it went up to a high of 42 so we're quite appreciative of our upgrade so that we've now got an air conditioner as well Yes, look. Oh, oh. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Yeah, so we've managed to secure ourselves at least two nights in Tuerefiren in the Khalakhari. So, you know, you take what you can get, and we're going to go and boil up there for the next two evenings and uh, see if we can't see any wildlife mm. and it's very important to at least once on a trip view some wildlife <sighs> yes we are in africa after all you know goodness so <laughs> yay i'm looking forward to that but i'm looking forward to just relaxing a little bit now we're having baboeti we're proudly south africa Yay! Yes! This has been really lovely. We've spent the afternoon in the air-conditioned Rondavel having a bit of a snooze and now we've had some drinks and we're having a smashing supper here on the open stoop here by the bar and restaurant and you can look over the whole pool area. Well, that was an awesome evening spent at the Malopo Lodge. We had the aircon running the whole night. It was fantastic. There was a thunderstorm as well, which was not predicted in the weather. And so we were very grateful to be inside the little cottage and a super supper. But now we are on our way to the Khalakhadi.
Well, the afternoon's drive didn't turn out to be such a great one in terms of sightings. So after our little uh, lunch break or sort of late drinks break at the picnic site, we didn't see much. We're back in camp now. I think we've got an awesome little setup here. Now we just hope the fire is actually going to burn so that we can make our brine. There we go. Wait. Got little chicken pieces. And there we go. And we've got sausages wrapped in bacon. And we've got chicken societies wrapped in bacon. And I've got steak societies as well, but there's no space left, so that has to wait a bit. Good morning from Tweerefirin in Khalakhadi. Wow, it was hot last night, my soul. Yes, it was terribly, terribly hot and then the breeze dropped and there was no ventilation coming through the tent so it was here after one when we eventually, we turned ourselves around in the tent, we did everything we could think of and we even zipped the mesh open and then the mozzies came in. Oh. Yes, and then they ate us up. So it was a very <laughs> eventful evening, but eventually a little bit of a breeze came up again and uh, then we could, we could eventually go to sleep. Yes, yes. But today is a new day and the sun is shining and the wind is blowing, thank goodness, because otherwise you'd die. Um, and we're going to go look for animals now. Yes, and Susanna's completely frazzled this morning. Yo, I don't know. I'm usually not like this, but everything is just everywhere. And my bag's in the wrong place, and my clothes are in the wrong place, and I don't know. I just can't get caught up. And Lindsay's so, she's got it all together, and usually she's like, you know, me now. <laughs> and I'm the one who has everything sorted and organized, and I don't like being unorganized. <sighs> okay, so we'll organize the Zan, we'll drop the tent, <laughs> and then we'll go for a drive. Okay, so we just got the one out and it got stuck again. So now we're gonna do it again. <laughs> there we go. Yes, I think there's like a rocky yes. spot, a hard yes. spot there. Yes. Yeah. Right, you're good. I'm very good. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, good. If get out of your way, then you can go. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Right, so we've popped Hamilton around the corner. He's done his job. One. Okay. You can see that you could drive forward. Yes, because yes, she's got, she's got the right bumper at the back. The right yes, bumper. yes, yeah, yeah. 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 If you're going outside. There's some interesting stuff going on there. <laughs> okay, now they're trying to push it out past the. Uh, Greater. So hopefully sand tracks will help with that mission over there. Oh my word. Oh dear, I'm walking into 
into all sorts of branches to try to record all this excitement for everybody. Just keep checking for the lions. I don't think the lions will come here now. It's way too much action. Yeah, way too many people in any case. Unless they're looking for a very large lunch. I'm trying to get this guy out that can cost too impatient to wait. original one and we'll see if the cruiser is going to do the trick here which I'm sure it will and then we can unblock the road and we can all get going yeah yeah, she'll have to keep going, yeah. Right, everybody's out now. Huh. Everyone's out. Everyone's out. Oh my word, was that now exciting. Wow. We were just moaning about how boring it is because we hadn't seen anything since we left Tuerefirin this morning all the way to Mata Mata and on our way back. And then we get this giant excitement over there. Now I'm boiling, I'm frazzled, and I'm probably as red as a tomato and burnt to boot. Mm. But anyway, there you go. At least that roadblock moved all by itself. Yes. <laughs> They're huge though, hey? <gasps> Massive. When you get so close to the giraffe, you know, they they always fascinating animals. Mm. Now at least oh well, we've seen a giraffe now. Yes. So we're back at camp without further incident. Well now, good morning. We had a lovely evening and slept well after all of the excitement of yesterday, but we have to pack up today. We only had two days in the Khalakhadi, but we enjoyed it. It was a good time. But uh, we're heading back down um, towards Uppington area, um, Karkamas and we'll see if we can get a place to stay there we've got an idea going of where we want to go some really cool gravel road driving coming up but uh, we'll see how that how that pans out good morning just getting the tires ready for the tar now and then we're off hope you enjoyed this episode don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and then we'll see you further down the road.